Hey, good morning or good evening, depending on where you're viewing this in the world. I am Marcel Williams and I'm so glad that you joined me today. My home church is Revival Time Assembly in San Fernando and my wonderful senior pastors are Reverends Lloyd and Norma Hart. It is my privilege to share daily devotionals with you this week. If you have missed any of my previous videos, here's a short recap. To get to your destination, you have to prepare. After you've prepared, then you have to get on board. There's always a chance of a diversion and even some turbulence along the way. Today now, we're going to get ready for the landing. Um, excuse me, miss, um, do I need to fill out a form? Uh huh, um, you have a pen I could borrow? As crew, we have things we need to do to ensure everyone's safety upon the landing. Example, making sure everyone is seated with their seat belts fastened and items removed during the flight is restored. Sometimes upon seeing the finish line, we have to take a leap of faith. Whether that means getting the needed equipment or even printing business cards before even reaching your destination. Are you standing with the posture of a winner? Or are you slouching as though you have been defeated? Isaiah 40, 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I'll admit, towards the end of the training, I was just so ready to graduate and get my wings. I had passed all my exams and the required checks and seeing the finish line. I remember the last day of training, we went into the hallway and saw our trolley bags. The excitement started to kick in. There was my name on the bag with my uniforms inside. I got home tired from the day, but I tried on my uniform to make sure the fit was right, polished my shoes, and had new things to wear as I saw the victory coming closer and closer. All I could think was, thank you, Lord, you have brought me through. Once you land at your destination and see your dreams come to fruition, never forget to give God praise. I'll be honest. One of the things I looked forward to at the end of my training was simply sleep. <laughs> Putting in that work and succeeding is a reward of its own. Only God and you will know the extent of the hardship you sometimes endure getting to your destination. The cherry on top though is when there are sometimes bonus rewards waiting for you at the end because of your faith and obedience to the Father. Our industry is heavily influenced by seniority. It affects many aspects. On graduation day, I found out that because of my grades in the various exams, I was fourth in seniority in my class. I don't think it even hit me until after. Not only did I do what I thought I couldn't do, but I did so to the point of being among the top in my class. God was and still continues to be faithful. Okay, yes, I've been talking about it from the angle of taking a flight, with our borders being closed. However, with the way God has orchestrated so many things in my life and how I've seen him working through and on my behalf, I'm reminded to trust him. He will get you and I through this and whatever you hope to accomplish. So that business that is taking you long to be established once it is his will, it will happen. Maybe you are hoping to start a family. It hasn't happened as yet. Pray and trust God. That move to a new job you've been waiting to make? Do your research, learn, get the required knowledge and skills needed to perform that new position. Have the mindset like it has already happened and praise him because it's already done. Luke 1 37 says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. We serve a God who is more than able to handle your situation. So get started today. Even if it's a small step, it's a step in the right direction. Your journey may look different from someone else's, but don't let that discourage you. What God has in store for you will be unique to you, as well as your journey is unique on this earth. John 15, 7 says, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. 
Lord, we just thank you, God, for this message that has been delivered this week. Father God, we just ask you to continue to inspire, to motivate your listeners, Father, to do what it is you would have them to do, to fulfill your purpose and your will in their lives, Father God. Give them the strength and the encouragement of God that they need to finish this journey and to see it to fruition. Father God, we just thank you that at the end of this journey, they will give you the praise and glory, Father God, and let it be a testament of your goodness, your love, and your kindness towards us, Father God, and that nothing is impossible with you. We just give you praise and thanks, O oh God, that you're going to continue to do marvelous things because you are still in the miracle working business. We give you praise and thanks for hearing and answering our prayers this week. And we thank you and we praise you in no other name than your wonderful name, Jesus. Amen. Thanks for flying with us and hope to see you again on board soon. Goodbye for now. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, click on it, click on it. The intro ain't gone finished before you click on it. Click on it now. Yes, yes. All right, thank you and see you again.